Plasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the JL56 IPX5 IPX6 waterproof jet test device. The following is the video catalog. 1. Hardware installation. 2. IPX5 IPX6 waterproof test. 3. Notes. Please check the packing list when you receive the shipment. The equipment and all accessories are all in one large wooden box. Take out the equipment and accessories carefully. This is the water tank and main instrument. Other accessories include, hose, IPX5 nozzle and hose, IPX6 nozzle and hose, waterproof plug for the sample, turntable, nozzle holder. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates and guarantee cards. There are user manual, operation video, and related standards in the CD. Install the IPX5 and IPX6 nozzle hoses to the water tank. Install the nozzles to the nozzle holder. The direction of the nozzle can be adjusted. Connect the water inlet of the water tank to the tap water. Keep this valve open. This is the drain valve. Keep it closed. It can be used when you need to clean the water tank. This is the power cord of the device. The regular input power supply is 3 phase 380 volts 50 hertz. Lasun can also customize other input voltage and frequency, such as 60 hertz. The phase sequence is marked on the wires. Please be careful and don't make mistake. This is the sample power cord. It can be connected to the correct power supply according to your sample. Connect the turntable cable to the corresponding socket on the water tank. Fix the sample on the turntable. If the sample needs to be turned on during testing, you can use the waterproof plug provided by Lasun. Fix the waterproof plug on the turntable and connect your sample to the plug. Plug the other end to the wiring board on the turntable. The turntable will automatically change the rotation direction E every one minute during the test. So the cable will not be entangled. Turn on the switch. Press this button to turn on the device. Click to enter the main interface of the program. Click Manual Picture. The manual interface is used for adjustment and checking all the functions of the device. Click Pump and then IPX5. Then there is water out of the IPX5 nozzle. Adjust the IPX5 flow meter to 12.5 liter per minute. Click to stop IPX5 and start IPX6. Adjust the IPX6 flow meter to 100 liter per minute. You can also click other buttons to check the other functions. Back to the main interface. Click to select the level of waterproof test to be performed, IPX5 or IPX6. Then click test parameter. Set test time, sample on time and sample off time. If you need the sample always to be on during the test, set the sample on time the same to the test time. No need to change turntable speed. Back to the main interface, click 0 reset to reset the test time and prepare to start a new test. Click sample power supply to turn on the sample power supply. Click test start to start the test. IPX5 test.
If you started IPX5 or IPX6 but there is no water out from the nozzle, there may be too much air in the pump. Please open this veil at the same time to release the air in the pump. Then the water can go to the nozzle. If the water flow is always low when you adjust the IPX6 flow meter, the power sequence of the equipment may be connected incorrectly. After changing the phase sequence of any two of the three phases, try to adjust the IPX6 flow again. The water tank may be dirty after the device is used for a long time. Open this valve to empty the tank. Then clean the inside of the tank. And refill with clean water. Thanks for watching.